just taking a quick look at the Ugreen Power Realm 2200. So this is about two kilowatt hours. You know, if you're considering a Delta II Max or a Blue Eddy AC200L, you might actually, you might want to take a look at this one because it actually does have some unique features here, including, you know, this little trolley. And actually, actually I shouldn't say little trolley. I mean, it's a pretty serious, it's a pretty beefy, beefy setup. And it has, you know, the rest of the stuff that you're going to want. It has all the same stuff, basically, all the same specs. And so, yeah, the charging input on this thing is pretty good. I mean, it, you can do up to a full 1,800 watts from the wall. Hopefully, you know, there is an app. So hopefully you can slow that down a little bit. I would recommend dropping it to about 1,500 watts, honestly, just because you don't want to... This is not a game. You know what I mean? Like... You, <laughs> You don't want to just try to max everything out all the time. And then for the solar, guess what? <laughs> it's actually, yeah, 1200 watts and there's two inputs. So it's, there's two of them and they're both rated up to 60 volts and 15 amps. And you know, if you notice this little box laying in the grass, yeah, it's a series connection box where you can actually put up to three inputs into it and it'll put it in series for you. So, you know, you got to have, obviously you got to have just standard like 18 volt solar panels to make that work with the 60 volt input on this thing. But yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of nice that they at least give you that, although it's all XT60. So you're going to have to, you know, you have to convert all your solar panels to XT60 to make use of that. But yeah, if you've ever seen the little box that Jackery has, it's the same thing where there's three inputs, but one of them's covered. The reason is you can't use that one unless you use the other two because it is a series connection. So if you don't use both of the, the other two, you won't complete the circuit basically. And as I mentioned, yeah, you can expand the system actually pretty good. I mean, 12 kilowatt hours. So the only downside is you can, <laughs> well, you can see what the downside is. I'm not even going to talk about it. You can see what it is, but still, you know, if you want to, you know, if you want to get some more capacity for a cheaper price, yeah, the expansion, expansion is always a good option. And this trolley system is actually pretty cool because as you can see here, yeah, you know, when you want to store it, it does fold flat, you know, so the telescoping handle tucks in. It folds flat. Now, of course, you're still going to have the wheels and stuff like that. So it's still going to take up, you know, some space. But the good news is, yeah, they are pretty big, beefy wheels. So if you do want to roll it out into the middle of your yard or something, or, you know, you can even take this thing off road. <laughs> you can take it on some gravel with you, I guess, you know. And the best part about this system is it actually locks into the power station. So, no... It's not just something that you, you know, you just set the power station on it. No, it actually locks in. So it makes it like one solid unit, which, you know, obviously, especially if you're going to be rolling it on kind of an uneven surface, it's just a, it's just a great idea. And by the way, you know, this is, you don't have to use this, you know, this thing is 56 pounds. So, you know, it is portable in itself. You, you know, most people can kind of lift that, but it's, yeah, it's just going to be difficult, isn't it? So it's it's nice to have this option. But it's also got a couple of these little features here that you probably haven't seen before. You know, number one is, and this is just a great idea, there's this little mesh filter that you can install, you know, over the intake vent. You know, so if you plan on running like a lot of big loads with this thing, like, you know, all the time, yeah, I mean, think about it. What You know, what would happen eventually... The fans inside the internals, everything would actually just start to get coated and, and dust and, you know, it gets nasty. So that's just a great idea. And actually, it, it looks it looks really nice, too. And then, yeah, check this out. Ugreen, you know, if you, if you haven't heard of Ugreen, this isn't a new company. You know, they've kind of specialized in USB wall chargers and, like, you know, fast ones, too. Like, you know, with all the GAN technology and all that stuff. So... Guess what? They've also, they've brought a couple of the, they've, they've brought some of that technology into this unit. In fact, you might not have even seen this before on a power station, 140 watt USB-C. So that, <laughs> that's big time power. Yeah. So, you know, let me know what you guys think of this Ugreen Power Realm 2200. And oh, yeah. And by the way, I was going to mention this, that it's kind of funny, the naming on this 2200. 
So, you know, it's about 2,000 watt hours and the inverter can do 2,400 watts continuous. So, you know, most companies, they pick one of those two numbers and then that's what they name the model. Yeah, they kind of decide, hey, let's just split the difference here, you know, and just call it the 2,200. So, hey, you know, it seems fair enough to me. So, yeah, you know, like I said, let me know what you guys think of this thing. And uh, hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful and interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.